Hi, I'm George, and this time around I'll be talking about how to make custom thumbnails to use on YouTube. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also click on subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you'll get notifications of my new videos. And to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. I have my thumbnail file open right here inside of Photoshop Elements, and this is the one that I use to make all of my thumbnails for use on YouTube. I'll be talking about a few of the tricks that I've learned over the years, and also the basic settings for setting up a thumbnail. Over here I have just a basic file, and this is the beginning that you need for a basic YouTube thumbnail. Now in order to be able to put custom thumbnails up onto YouTube, onto your YouTube channel, you of course first have to have a YouTube channel, that's obvious, and second, your channel has to be verified. Now that's easy, when you first set it up there's going to be a link in there to verify your channel. All that means is that they will send a code by text to your phone, you then enter that code back into YouTube, and that just verifies that you actually own the channel, that's all there is to it. Once you do that, you can then put on custom thumbnails. And I highly recommend this, if you have a YouTube channel, then you have to be using custom thumbnails. Okay, real basics over here. There's the basic file. I'll be putting this file on my website as a template. You can go ahead and download that, but it's just going to have a couple of basic things in here. Most importantly is the size. Let's take a look at our size in here. That's the image size right there. It should be 1280 by 720 pixels. Resolution should be at 72. That's what it's going to be when it goes up onto YouTube, so you might as well have it at that resolution to start off with. There you go. Now notice up here we have pixel dimensions 2.64 megs. Now it actually comes in smaller than this when you finally go ahead and save it over to the JPEG setting, which is the best setting to use. You can use JPEG or GIF or PNG. I recommend the JPEG setting. It has to be under 2 megs for it to work on YouTube. But again, once it goes to the JPEG, this will always be under that size. You'll have no problem about that. And I'll show you the main things I want to do if I'm making a thumbnail. First, of course, is to find a good picture. I'm just going to find out what I have up here on my recently edited file list. Here's a Fox's one. This actually is from a Minecraft video I just put up. This is pretty standard snapshot. So I'll just drag that in there. There we go. Now on this one, when I'm doing my Minecraft videos or any, any kind of video, I want to make sure I have my most important information right in the middle here. If I'm off the screen like that, I may fill in some background. That really depends, of course, on the image. I'll put it right here in this case. Notice how it's just a little bit dim. This one screenshot happens to be kind of in a shaded area. So the next thing I always do is to add an adjustment layer above my image layers. Let's go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels. And where it says use previous layer right there, check that and choose OK. And then grab the middle control here and just move that to the left a bit like that. And then move the left and right sides in. That makes it more contrasty and brightens things up. And take it a little brighter than you think it needs to be. A little brighter and a little more contrasty. I guarantee it's going to look a little bit more dull once it goes up onto YouTube, so you have to compensate for that. If you ever are watching my videos at the moment I put them up, you'll frequently see one thumbnail go up, it then comes down again, and a few minutes later it's changed to an improved thumbnail. So even though I have all of my tricks, I still may not be happy with the thumbnail when I put it up, and I'll still go back and I'll fix a thumbnail, and then change that thumbnail out as fast as I can. So you may see that, but that's perfectly fine. You can change your thumbnails after you've put them up. It's not a one-shot deal. Okay, so I always have a levels control up here above my images, and that just gives me a chance to brighten things up so they look better once they go up onto YouTube. After this, it's a matter of putting in your text. Just put in a little bit of text right down here. I'm going to make this text white. There you go. Whatever your text happens to be for your particular video, wherever you want to decide you want to put that, it depends upon your own personal style. 
but a couple things that I have found having your text larger usually helps you can you know, extend your text here by dragging your sides that make your text bigger bigger text is easier to read than smaller text and also having a drop shadow on your text helps make it easier to read as well so that's up here under layer come down to layer style style settings and then just use drop shadow I like mine set all the way up here to 100 I tend to have mine at about 135 on my angle and the distance is out kind of like that so there's a good dark bit of area in behind the text just makes it easier to see you can see right there there's the difference there's without it and there's with so it really helps on the visibility of the text making it easy to read so already we have our background layer our image layer we have our adjustment layer here for the image and we have our text layer all that's really left is to have our logo in here someplace upper left upper right those are standard locations for logos whatever you want I'm just gonna find something over here under graphics let's just grab a graphics in here for using this as a kind of a fake logo and we'll just find something off of here which is kind of fun you know whatever your logo happens to be for your channel that's kind of interesting let me just grab that one double click that should place it in yeah there we go that does it so let's say that that is my logo for my channel I'll make it big enough so it, you can read it, not so small that it can't be read and not so large that it takes away from the picture inside of your file, inside of your thumbnail. Okay, there you go. That's the basics then on doing the layout, image, adjustment for your image, text, and logo. Let me just rename this one logo. I'll be putting this file up on my website so you can download this if you want to. Logo, text, and there's your image. I'll call this one image, and we're all set. Now, when you save this out, which is first to a file save, and I have mine here called YouTube Thumbnail, so I can always go back to this one and then I just add to it. I add more stuff in as I go. I'll tend to drop off the image layers. Once I've used them, I'll just take them off and replace them with the new image layers, but I'll keep everything else in case I want to use that for additional or later videos. Now, the saving of this out to your JPEG file format, again, you can use JPEG or GIF not animated GIF, just regular GIF or PNG, but I think the JPEG works out the best. And that's up here. File, come down to Save for Web, right here, JPEG, and set it at maximum quality right there and optimized. Everything else you can leave alone. Then just choose Save. Let me put this into my actual location for this one, which is going to be, you see here I have everything organized by folders for my videos and this will be in my PSE essentials thumbnails and save they're all in the same location so I can easily find those in the future and then you just save that out as a JPEG file let's now see how this looks at a bit smaller size your thumbnails will be down about like that something else that you should do is always shrink them down just grab the zoom control here and, and bring it down a lot like that make it fairly small and make sure that it looks okay at this size. You can understand the logo, whatever that is. You can read the text and you can understand what the picture is. And then you should be fine on working with this. And the last little tip I can say is when you're doing your research for your video on YouTube, do a search for your search terms. Let's say I was doing this video about Minecraft foxes. I'd do a search for Minecraft foxes and I would see what other videos or what are the thumbnails other videos are using and see which ones work well and decide what it is about those videos that makes them work out well and maybe incorporate some of those ideas into my thumbnails. So there you go. That's how to do custom thumbnails on YouTube in Photoshop Elements. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and click on share. Make sure you subscribe. All of that stuff really helps my channel, helps me keep going. And to learn a lot more, and I mean a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.